the injector cleaning machine. Here's what you do. First off, you need to make sure you make your mix up. That is in the last video. We'll put that video link in there. Julio, tell everybody where all the tools are going to be. Thank you, Julio Cesar Chavez Rodriguez. Bill, he likes that. I'm not going to tell you to go to Home Depot and buy one of these cheap pressure tanks, but this is the one I built it off. I've got multiple of them. You can use a really expensive one if you want, but this does the job. Now, you're going to put a filter on the end of the tube that goes in the tank because these things are dirt traps, the tanks are. And that is nothing but a quarter inch little old filter because this comes out of that hole right there you have to put the filter on with a quarter inch hose and get it so it sets at the bottom that's basically all you got to do measure it out so if i go like this i know i'm at the bottom of the tank so you take a piece of quarter inch rubber hose it goes right over the plastic tube that comes out of here and you zip tie it to your filter and whatever rubber pipe you want to use quarter inch this little bugger right here pretty handy because like i said they're dirt traps dirt gets on these rims they go down there last thing you want to do is be pumping dirt into your injectors so i'm going to set that down in there like that i'm going to take a pair of long needle nose you're already figuring out what i'm doing i'm going to reach down in there and you look in the hole right here and bingo was his name that goes back in there and we're going to put the plunger back in because you know i will tip that over and i just knew there was a way to build one of these cleaning systems to be able to clean all your injectors at the same time or one at a time if you don't want to do them all at the same time in the rail you can do them one at a time and i'll show you how you do that but this is the simplest to do have it all done at one time. Touch the wire on each injector with a 9-volt battery and run it for about 20-30 seconds. And you can rig up a way to mount this so you're spraying it into a container. However you want to do it. There's so many ways to build this thing. But you can rig up any kind of contraption you want to do. Let's talk about the injector rail connection. And we're going to try to measure that out for you this is the pipe that we're using right here this is a piece of pvc tubing and it says half inch thick fuel vapor not for fuel it works just fine for the little bit that you're doing with it the problem is this is way bigger than the injector rail tube so you need a piece to fill that in with that is right here and we're going to measure that for you so grab a piece of paper and a pencil and write this down I like to use a pair of uh, vernier calipers, measure the inside of it. It needs a battery. I just do it this way. Use your machinist scale, 250 thousandths. So it's quarter inch. That would slip over that. Then this goes in here. The outside, half inch. So you need a quarter inch inside, half inch outside. That goes in there, like this, and you can put it on halfway, and then you slip it on here, and by the time you get it all the way up there, the other pipe inside is already in there. Then you take your clamp, you can use whatever clamp you want, you want to use one of these clamps right here, and you just move that up. Believe it or not, that holds pretty darn good. What I do with these things is I put the pliers and I just turn it out so it puts more pressure on it. And on this sprayer, it's almost perfect half inch right there. When you take all the stuff off the end of this, and that will just go on like this. And the threads on there really bite into it good. Move that up, tighten it down good, put a piece of tape on your handle here your lever so that it stays compressed and you don't have to monkey with trying to squeeze that as well pump the tank up you're ready to go now here's the cool part about it when you 
have it all set, pressured up, they will not spray until you activate each and every one of them. Okay? They will not spray. So when you... And there'll be enough pressure in that tank by the time you pump it up to do everything you've got to do to those injectors. Six of them, eight of them, it doesn't matter. Now, if you don't want to do the fuel rail setup, okay, so you do not want to use your fuel rail. Very simple. Take the seal off of your injector. Pops right off with one of those little rigs. This is the perfect fit for this hose. This hose is connected to your Sweet Project Cars pumping assembly. You take that, put it on. Clamp it down with this clamp. Or you can use these if you use some vice grips and just leave them on there. You can take these on and off real quick like. Very simple. Now it's ready to go and spray your cleaning solution, which is this stuff right here. Perfect. Remember, you do not have to clean this out afterwards. Once you spray this through there for 15 to 30 seconds and you like the stream that's coming out, that means it's cleaned out. You can put this right back into the vehicle and I suggest highly that you replace the seals before you do that. Very simple process to do them one at a time. Sweet Project Cars out.